All right, there's two of them, look at that. One's on the ground to the left, and the other one was on the ground. Moving on. The EF2 tornado a mile and a half to my west is tracking north-northeast at roughly 20 miles per hour, becoming more photogenic and powerful as it slowly closes the gap between us. opportunity to marvel a shape-shifting angelic tornado from a stress-free location was at hand. And while we're gawking at the tornado's unworldly majesty, at this moment a husband and wife are in a basement while their home above them is being completely destroyed. Blinding dirt and deafening noise is whipping around them. Pieces of their sanctuary are now striking them and falling on them. Cuts and bruises are materializing on their bodies as the remaining fragments of their precious home are being swept away. The beautiful tornado earned a terrible EF4 rating with estimated wind speeds between 166 and 200 miles per hour. I checked my camera to make sure I was capturing it with tolerable settings and within those few seconds the twisting conical monster had manifested itself into a long snaky rope. The rope stage is generally the final stage of a tornado's life, and when they're this thin, they're usually not long for the world. But any veteran chaser knows that tornadoes also love to defy cliches. Most tornadoes are brief, lasting a few seconds to less than 10 minutes. This tornado tracked north for over 30 minutes and left a damage path 11.7 miles long. This was the third day in a row of extraordinary tornado outbreaks inside a 100 mile radius centered near the eastern Nebraska-South Dakota border. A total of four EF4s were recorded and all three days saw two tornadoes on the ground simultaneously. You can see detailed coverage of all three events on this channel. to take a second to thank everyone for subscribing to this channel. I read all your comments, even the really stupid ones. 
Feel free to ask me any questions about meteorology or storm chasing or biology, and I'll do my best to answer them all. Till next time. Happy trails, amigos.